freaking bats. I love Halloween. What's going on guys? It's fuzzy. I'm not sure if you guys understood what just happened in the intro, but there was a Vine a couple years ago, if you guys remember Vine. I miss Vine, that was such good times. But anyways, if you guys have no idea what I'm referring to, let me just roll that real quick because it's so funny to me. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. All right, so now that you guys are all up to speed, I do have an announcement to make before we get into the baseball stories because there was only four games from yesterday, but in those four games, a lot of stuff happened. I asked you guys yesterday in my video if you wanted to see what was called Fuzzy Friday. So if you guys don't know, if you guys didn't watch my video, the idea is that every single Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I feel like that's the best time because people on the West Coast can watch, people on the East Coast can watch because it's Friday, 8 p.m. I feel like it's perfect. I will be playing Fortnite with you guys I can match up with you guys on MLB the show 18 2k 19 I can play spider-man for you guys so anything that you guys want to see it will be happening today mark your calendar set an alarm 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time fuzzy Fridays I love you guys so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first story so the reason why I'm wearing this hat is because Francisco Mejia he used to be the top prospect for the Cleveland Indians and we traded him to the Padres he's not that good he's, he's really not just watch we, we had a really good trade we got Brad hand so I think we made out pretty well Drives one towards deep left center field. Back goes Irvin towards the track and the wall. That ball's gone. Francisco Mejia in his first start, first plate appearance, homers to left center field. His first career big league home run. Hey, it's, just, it's just one home run. I mean, he can't, he, can't, he can't get much better, huh? Drives one to deep right field. Francisco Mejia hits a three-run home run, his second home run of the night in his first start in a Padres uniform. Are you actually serious? We trade Francisco Mejia. I was one of those guys that said, you know what, we're going to be fine. He's not going to be that great in the show. I compared him to Blake Swihart. Someone called me out on Twitter yesterday because I got this wrong. Oh my gosh, I, I think Francisco Mejia, he's going to be the next big thing. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. As an Indians fan, I mean, I've seen Victor Martinez in his prime when he used to play for the Indians. And if this guy ends up being the next VMAR, I'm going to be so upset. Like, sure, Brad Hand, we need him for this year because without him, our bullpen would have been the worst in the entire league. He's really held it down because Cody Allen has not been that great. Andrew Miller's been on the DL, so Brad Hand has been amazing for us. But we got Adam Simmer in that trade as well, and he's been very average. So, uh... Yeah, I... Uh, gosh. Now that's bad news for me as an Indians fan, but there is a shining light for all of my Tribe fans out there. So Francisco Lindor. So we traded Francisco Mejia, but we have the better Francisco, and he did it this yesterday. Lindor wraps one high in the air. Deep center field. Pilar is back. He's out of room. It's out of here. And the seventh time this year, he has let off a game with a home run. Delivers the payoff pitch, and Lindor... Drives one to deep right field. Back is McKinney. He can't make the play, and it is gone a home run. How about that? Lindor has done it again. So with that first home run off the bat of Francisco Lindor, he tied a Cleveland Indian record, and I cannot, I'm so excited to say this name out loud because it's been so long since I've been able to say his name because he is my favorite player of all time. With seven leadoff home runs, Francisco Lindor just tied Grady Sizemore for the franchise record. Do you guys remember how good Grady Sizemore was? If you guys don't, I'll just say this. He had 40 stolen bases and was in the home run derby the same year. How do you do that? So let's go back to that game real quick. So we saw Francisco Lindor hit two home runs. We already know that Jose Ramirez is having an MVP season. So now it's going to come down to the question of the day. If you guys had one draft pick to take either Francisco Lindor or Jose Ramirez, they both have about the same batting average. They can both hit bombs. They can both steal you bases. The only difference I would say is Francisco Lindor has a better glove and arm, but I don't know. It kind of balances out because Jose's the better hitter. So if you guys had one pick, Francisco Lindor or Jose Ramirez, who are you taking? I know history was made yesterday in the Blue Jays game as well, so let me go find I know my grandpa sent me a text about that. So grandpa, Mr. Kenneth Cypher, if you're watching this, I love you, grandpa. Oh yeah, a guy named Rowdy Telez. I'm not sure if I said that right, but he is the first player in the live ball era since 1920 with an extra base hit in each of his first three major league appearances. That's insane. He has three doubles. He's three for three. His slugging percentage and OPS is through the roof right now. And one more quick little note about the Blue Jays before we get into the next story is the manager for the Blue Jays, John Gibbons. This will be his last year coaching, so a lot of people are happy about that. I do have some news to talk about in terms of the Red Sox and J.D. Martinez, but we always talk about them, so I'm going to save that for the end of the video, and we'll talk about it real quick. So the next clip is going to be from the Diamondbacks and the Braves. Honestly, this might be the game of the year. Fly ball, left field. Way out. Tied! 
What more can you ask for out of a baseball game? So you're down by one run in the bottom of the ninth, you're down to two outs and your best hitter is up. And what does Paul G do? Yeah. He does what Paul G always does. Let me know if I'm the only one in this boat. I, uh, I've i seen a lot of Paul Goldschmidt highlights in my life, but I have never heard the man say a word ever. I mean, I, I can't remember. When's the last time that Paul Goldschmidt actually said words out loud? Like Bryce Harper, he's always talking. There's a lot of talkative, really out there players in the league. Francisco Lindor is always having fun, but Paul Goldschmidt, he shows up every single day. He plays the game hard. He's all about that business, man. And then we see in the top of the 10th, the Braves answer back. Ender Inciarte, he's up at the dish. Yeah, he comes in clutch. One ball, one strike. That got away, and Dansby's gonna come home. Justice is served. And Atlanta's back in front. And again, guys, remember, there was only four games from yesterday, but in those four games, there was so much news, a lot of amazing baseball that was being played. We just saw the Braves and the D-backs game, and I think that is a nominee for the best game of the year. And then the Cubs versus the Nationals. Yeah, David Bodie, he's still raking. Out into right center, and that ball gets in there. Almora to third. He's going to be sent. Relay throw won't be made. Actually, it will be, but it's way late. David Bodie comes through again. I swear, every single day that I get to wake up and make these videos, it's so much fun for me because just with the Braves and Diamondbacks game, the Cubs and the Nationals game, what J.D. Martinez is doing, we're going to talk about him in just a second, Francisco Lindor, Francisco Mejia, all of these guys, I just, I don't, think we appreciate baseball as much as we're supposed to because in my opinion it's the greatest sport in the world and if you don't think though maybe you should just type in uh, eagles versus falcons nfl week one recap yeah it's uh it's like watching paint dry that was a boring game anyways anyways i do not want to bad talk about football because honestly i'll probably make a few nfl recaps the next couple weeks but the last story that we're going to talk about is coming out from boston jaden martinez so there's something called the triple crown where you lead the league in batting average home runs and rbis he's about to win the global Triple Crown. The global Triple Crown, I don't think it's ever been done, but that's where you lead all of Major League Baseball in each category. I, I don't think it's been done, but he's super close. So he's tied with Mookie Betts at a 335 average. He's down by one home run to Chris Davis. So Chris Davis, Crush Davis, has 40 home runs. J.D. Martinez is 39. And then he is leading the pack in RBIs by a good amount. I think by 10 RBIs. So he's going to get that wrapped up pretty soon. So I guess I have two questions for you guys today. The first one being, would you rather have Francisco Lindor or Jose Ramirez? And the second one, do you think... J.D. Martinez is going to win the Triple Crown, and even then some, do you think he's going to win the Global Triple Crown? Let me know in the comment section down below. Another quick little stat update about the Red Sox is the last time that two players on the same team hit above 330 and had 30 home runs was back when uh, Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio were teammates. That's They're in that company. I don't, I, mean, I don't know if you guys understand how crazy that is. Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez are the modern day Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio. Oh my gosh. I just, just, saying, that, just saying that out loud again, that kind of... Wow, they're really good. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up the stories from yesterday. Let me go ahead and get the standings real quick. I have not checked in. This is the first time. So we're about to react in real time all together. Let me put in my passcode real quick. Let me type in MLB.com. Give me one second. Ooh, I'm looking at cats right now on Craigslist. I'm thinking about picking up a cat. What kind of cat should I get? So we can see in the American League, the Red Sox and the Indians are still dominating their divisions. In the AL West, the Astros are up by three and a half games. Come on, Athletics, you guys got this. Play Moneyball. Do whatever you can to get back in the playoff hunts. And the wild card, well, they still got a wild card spot. So it's the Yankees and the Athletics for the top wild card spots. In the National League, we can see the Braves are ahead of the Phillies by three and a half games. The Cubs are ahead of the Brewers by four and a half. And then five games above of the Cardinals. In the NL West, man, the Rockies are playing really good baseball right now. Trevor Story is making a case to be MVP. So is Nolan Arenado. And then you have Kyle Freeland, who's pitching pretty well for them. They are one and a half games above the Dodgers, two and a half games up of the Diamondbacks. And then in the wild card, the Brewers and the Cardinals are in first and second place with the Dodgers two games back, the Diamondbacks three games back, and then the Phillies four and a half games back. So guys, so guys, that's going to be it for the video today. Again, do not forget to stop by the Fuzzy Friday today at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Do not miss it. It's going to be a really fun time. If you guys like Fortnite, you can come and carry me because I'm not great at that game. But if you guys want to see Madden, MLB The Show 18, Spider-Man, and anything that you guys want to see, I am more than willing to put it up on the screen for you guys. And also, the two comments of the day, would you rather have Francisco Lindor or Jose Ramirez? And also, do you think J.D. Martinez is going to win the Triple Crowns? So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. If you did enjoy, slap a like on this one. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.